Hey, what's happening, little gamers? This is your guy Bryce with the Electronic Gamers Night, and once again, I've got a little bit of information for you and concerning Pokemon Go. This is darn near breaking news. Like, this is exciting. Uh, it looks like Pokemon Go has finally had. Um, it's going to have the thir the Gen 3 update. So the Gen 3 update is going to be a little more exciting because we're going to get a new feature along with Gen 3. So Gen 3, we're not going to get all of them. We're not going to get all 100 and I believe 30 something Pokemon at once. We're going to get 50. That's right. 50. 5 0. A lot of people are disappointed about this. Me personally, I'm like, hey, that sounds like a good number to start off with because we're not going to be able to catch them all right away anyway. So, starting off with 50 in the first week, you know, we might get 50 the next week. We might get 50 next month. We'll find out. Um, but along with this new update, uh, if you guys would pay attention to this right here, you're getting video of weather conditions. That's right, weather. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a this is an add-on for cast form because cast form, in order for it to, uh, you know, cast form can be uh, sunny, rainy, um, snowy, and something else. But cast form has several different forms that it goes to depending on weather. So in order for cast form to work in this game, there has to be weather in the game. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be like, you know, if it's snowing here in Indianapolis, it's snowing in the game. If it's thundering in Indianapolis, we've got rain in the game. If it is, that's amazing. Way to go, Niantic. If not, eh, I can live with it. Um, along with your weather conditions, and your weather conditions are going to be sunny, rainy, snow, fog, party, partly cloudy, and then windy. Windy is going to be the one I'm looking out for because I need those dragon types. The more Dratinis I can get a hold of, the better. Um... So to wrap this all up, guys, get ready to get out there and be catching a lot more Pokemon. Oh, and also, when it's raining and when there's a weather condition going on, say you're looking for water types, um, where this video came from, the Silth Road, I'm going to leave the link below to that. You'll have the entire uh, news feed from the Silth Road. So you can go over that yourself. You can look at more video. Um, you can pretty much explore the, uh, the Pokemon Go community and world through the Silth Road. The Silth Road is awesome. It's a great resource. Uh, if you're looking for a spawning point for a certain Pokemon, the Silth Road can tell you exactly where that Pokemon is, which makes it so much easier to get that, you know, get those last few candies. All right. I've talked enough. You guys get ready. Get out there. Go find some Pokestops. Spin the heck out of them because we're going to need to catch a lot more Pokemon. All right. I'm out. Take it easy.